Hey everybody, it's me Kay. Welcome back to Ninja Gaiden 3. This is part 4, stage 4. And we've got to get that up fire. We're outside Castle Rock Fortress, presumably. Finally, even though we've been there before. Or just the dialogue's really weird, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, the chief thing about this area is just there's a lot of platforming, but it's not lame, cheap-ass platforming with birds everywhere. It's not bird pits, and that's what I like about this game. Despite how badly butchered the US version was compared to the really good original Japanese version, I still consider Ninja Gaiden 3 to be my favorite one in the franchise, actually. This is, this is the one that I really like. It's, it's a terrible game in the US release, but when I discovered that the Japanese version wasn't a giant hot mess, I suddenly fell in love. This is one of my favorite NES titles now, actually. I really like this version of Ninja Gaiden 3. Now, I stress, the one that you would get on a NES in the States is not a good game. It is broken, it is nigh impossible to complete, everything about it is screwed up beyond belief. Oh my god, I just want that sword. There we go. What? The hell? Okay. That was altogether too many shots of that. Pull that off. Damn. Damn! Missed that. Okay. This game is patience in a hurry, is how I would describe it, I guess. If you're patient, but you're moving, you're gonna do real well in it. You gotta wait for things to happen, you sometimes gotta drop back down, double back. The nice thing about this game, and one of the coolest things about it, is that the enemies just do not respawn. They're not coming back as I kill them. And that's super cool, because that's just never been a thing in a Ninja Gaiden game, obviously. They got better about it in 2, but in 3 they, they finally perfected how the NES loads things and everything. This is a very late NES title, so that kind of shows. Okay, I love that ability. It's just so immensely useful. Woo! Woo! Don't want to be there. Don't want to be there either. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. We're almost to the boss now. I, I like this game because it's got a huge amount of skill involved, but it's not cheap. At least not as cheap as it could have been. Notice that he darn near killed me just by touching me. And that's why I I don't like the other version of this game. Because even just being touched would have been hideously lethal right there. Ow. And I'd be dead by now. There. That double damage... I don't know if the double damage in the US version is a glitch or not, but it feels like it is because of how slapdash they altered the difficulty. Ryu, I knew you'd come. Oh, it's that car salesman guy again. I remember you. I'm Clancy. I've been working on the biohazard plan with Foster. Bio no, no, Wesker was in the last game, man. You can't do biohazard now. I can't work with him anymore. He has secretly created a monster called a Bionoid. What's a bionoid? And why do we shout it? There's an open seam between dimensions that was created when the demon died. The demon was the antagonist of one. An unlimited supply of life energy is flowing from the seam inside the ruins of the fortress. Yeah, so we wrecked that place in one, and apparently we created a sort of a subspace rift. Foster's rebuilt the fortress and was doing transformation experiments with life energy. It's not capitalized that time. It was in all caps before. Bionoids are superhumans that have been transformed with life energy. 
It's really rad. Was it a bionoid that killed Irene? Yes! That's right! And Foster's in control of the bionoids. Clearly this is a very trustworthy man. I don't have the power to stop him. Ryu, you're my last hope. Stop Foster. Okay. And we just do because we're a terrible ninja. It's time for Act 5, and here is presumably the remains of the Demon Fortress from 1 we're coming up on. There's the mountain range. That's the same platform we once stood upon. Ryu has a really defined butt here for some reason. Very tight, baggy pants. And Foster did a really bad job rebuilding it. Wow, it's goofy. So this is Foster's Castle Rock Fortress. No, we've been in three different Castle Rock Fortresses at this point. <sighs> Whatever. I'll be back in the next episode. Bye for now.